good morning uh, yesterday we did again a variety of concepts starting from what yesterday kal kya 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 humne ek bar recap kar lete yes i'm sure you might have written down in your notes i just even write it for my reference as well sabse pehla concept kaun sa kiya tha kal humne yes so we had talked about who is a subsidiary who is an associate and then we had talked about the concept of stand alone financial statements and what consolidated financial statements then i guess we had directly talked about the shareholding pattern oh yes we had also talked about joint ventures anything else that we had talked about yesterday regulator correct we had talked about the concept of a regulator do you remember the regulators स्टॉक मार्केट का रेगुलेटर कौन है सेबी इंश्योरेंस आई आर डी एन इफ आई टॉक अबाउट बैंक आर बी आई ओके वी आर टॉक अबाउट वराइटी ऑफ रेगुलेटर्स एंड टूवर्ड्स द एंड द इम्पॉर्टेंट डिस्कशन दैट वी डिड ये स्टडी वॉज शेयर होल्डिंग पैटर्न वेर इन वी टॉक अबाउट अ वेराइटी ऑफ कंसेप्ट लाइक म्यूचुअल फंड इज म्यूचुअल फंड जस्ट अ टाइप ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट और म्यूचुअल फंड इन इट सेल्फ इज लाइक एन इंस्टीट्यूशन in itself is like an institution wherein i can park my funds wherein i can invest money and then they invest it simultaneously in the mutual funds or any other avenues okay in shareholding pattern we talked about two types of businesses or two categories of businesses i may say one is a family owned business and one is a professionally run business in family run business we talked about the example of i guess reliance industries yes this may be a taken example of raja ka beta raja so when the business was started by dhirubhai ambani the new generation which came into picture again without even asking either dhirubhai ambani or anil uh, sorry whether mukesh ambani or whether anil ambani ya fir split whatever is the scenario but finally the rain had to be in the hands of ambani's correct but if i'm talking about case number 2 which is a professionally run business iska example kaun sa diya tha larson and tubro there is no family business for that only professionals are going to come together to run the business करेक्ट एनी अदर कंसेप्ट दैट वी डिड यस्टरडे एक बार चेक कर लेना कोई और कंसेप्ट क्या है तो ऑल राइट सो आई एम शोइंग यू अ वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट वेबसाइट नेम ऑफ द वेबसाइट इज मनी कंट्रोल डॉट कॉम for those who don't know about this website you it's a must noting in your notes moneycontrol.com is not any government owned website or no connection with sebi as such it's like a privately owned website only but it will give you all the authentic updates about stock market okay so just as an example if you remember we had talked about shareholding pattern of lnt yesterday okay so i'll show you how to use this website here immediately on the home page only you can see search quotes news mutual fund navs whatever you can see this correct so what do i type here larson see the moment i'm typing larson i get two options either larson and tubro or larson and tubro infotech which one are we looking for larson and tubro so pressing enter now here you can immediately see that what is the current market price of larson and tubro you can see here 1461.50 on bombay stock exchange and 1461.20 on national stock exchange okay you will see a variety of information here but what we are interested in right now i'll tell you can you see here shareholding is it visible from the back yes so how did i reach her i just typed money control on uh, I, i just type larson on the home screen ye screen appear ho gaya i'm just scrolling down and right now i'm clicking on shareholding okay once i click on shareholding see the same picture that we discussed yesterday appeared here indian what is the category you remember this is a shareholding pattern of the promoter and promoter group you can see here indian mein kitna hai foreign mein kitna hai remember yesterday everything was zero for money control promoter holding yes and then we had gone to non institutions individuals ka ek major stake tha yesterday we had discussed also about yes this one पब्लिक शेयर होल्डिंग में किसका कितना है म्यूचुअल फंड्स का कितना है फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशंस का बैंक्स का कितना है इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज का कितना है वी आर डिस्कस दिस यस्टरडे ना सो सेम इंफॉर्मेशन वी कैन सी और वी कैन चेक ऑन विच वेबसाइट 
moneycontrol.com but i feel there is one more very 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 important value addition which comes up here which was uh, i guess not visible on the annual report yesterday and which is a must before you check whether to buy or whether to stay away from such a company here you can see shares pledged or otherwise encumbered anyone knows what is this shares pledged or otherwise encumbered girvi rakhna अब कौन शेयर्स गिरवी रख रहा है इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन सो बेसिकली यू आर टेकिंग अ लोन अगेंस्ट शेयर्स ओके डू यू थिंक दैट दिस इज अ वेरी कूल साइट वेयर द प्रमोटर हिमसेल्फ इज प्लेजिंग द शेयर्स एंड टेकिंग लोन डू यू थिंक दिस इज अ गुड गुड साइन और अ बैड साइन बैड साइन कंपनी को अगर लोन चाहिए तो लोन इजिली मिलना चाहिए कंपनी को इफ बैंक आर नॉट रेडी टू गिव अ लोन देन द लास्ट रिजॉर्ट कुड बी द ओनर प्लेजिंग द शेयर्स एंड गेटिंग इन लोन so it means that the financial position of the company is somewhere questioned number 1 number 2 kya hota hai batati hu main khud owner hu will i strive very hard when my own funds are locked in or when someone else's funds are locked in when my own funds are locked in i'll, I'll strive very hard kyunki finally profit hua to mera hona hai nuksan hua to bhi mera hi hona hai correct what could happen is that in this case What could happen in this case is that मैंने मेरा खुद का पैसा मेरा खुद का शेयर जो है वो भी क्या करके दिया है प्लेज करके रखा है सो वन परसेंट मेरी कंपनी डूब जाती है तो क्या हो जाएगा अच्छा वॉट लैपन अगर मेरी कंपनी डूब गई तो क्या हो जाएगा बोलो दी शेयर आर प्लेज विथ हूम बैंक सो बैंक क्या करेगा अभी बैंक को शेयर सेल कर देगा एंड खुद का पैसा रिपे करके लेगा ओके okay. सो so, this is not a very pleasant sight to watch where the promoter's shares itself are sold off and bank is recovering its loan so this is a basic thumb rule which very few people check whenever you are buying shares of any company you have to check this how many shares are pledged and very important is by whom promoter ne khud ke shares pledge pe rakha hai then ideally you should be staying away from such a company okay yesterday i had given you some homework about shareholding pattern so we can just check three or four companies and check the share holding pattern anyone has done it 1 2 3 aapne bhi kiya kya baat hai four nice if i can know just one or two names of the companies yes bank hdfc amc okay so we'll go one by one now if you see here yes bank so how do i go here now you only tell me so that fit bad jayega dimag mein yes bank i typed then we are on this page now where do i type from this entire thing share holding so when i go to share holding now this page opens up and you can see that promoter hai promoter group jo main promoters i guess rana kapoor and someone else is the promoter so out of the share holding of promoter and promoter group of the individuals how much share holding is Marked as a lean, six percent of the shares. And how many shares? Look, it's like one crore sixty-six lakh seventy-five thousand shares, huh? Which are kept as a pledge, which are kept as lean. Not a good sign. So, as I said, if there is such a scenario, it is always better that two hands are away from the company. Okay, this is where the financial position of the company is at. not not entire in not in entirety but it's like one minus point for the company if you remember yesterday also i told you that i can't tell you a single parameter ek parameter dekh lo buy ho gaya to buy kar lo no we can't do that but can i say this is like a minus point for the company for sure okay any other example you you talked about what hdfc is it hdfc bank or limited acha hdfc amc the share rose quite a bit in the see yesterday also it has risen almost by 55 rupees almost uh, 3 pone 3 3 taka bada hai hdfc amc chalo main generally aise tips to nahi batati hu kisi bhi isme because i believe maine kal bhi bola tha na aapko ki uh, there are many students who would like to ask me certain questions i entertain all the questions but if the question is like us tip batao na that is not doable So I'll tell you my thought process for HDFC AMC. Again, 
fundamental analysis reading balance sheet reading pnl is one part of the story the other part of the story which is very important is common sense and unfortunately that is uncommon so it has to be a common sense now let us understand why hdfc amc should ideally be a multi bagger in coming years you understand multi bagger multi bagger matlab bahut multiple returns dena chahiye ideally again this is a big risk if i'm taking and uh, saying any specific share in front of the camera but i feel that in the longer horizon 5 years 6 years they should be doing really well in fact ye company jab ipo leke aayi thi it got over subscribed and i did not receive even one single share many many people were such who did not get even one share of the company but i decided that i want the share so the day it got listed i bought shares of this company same day of listing okay now what is the thought process सी मैंने बोला ऐसे हर एक बार उतना डेप्थ में फाइनेंशियल जा जाके चेक करना हर एक बार पॉसिबल भी नहीं होगा बट कॉमन सेंस क्या बोलता है लेटेस्ट अंडरस्टैंड इन इंडिया राइट नाउ चेक आउट योर कलीग्स योर ऑफिस कलीग्स हाउ मेनी ऑफ देम रियली इन्वेस्ट डायरेक्टली इन शेयर मार्केट वेरी लेस कंपेरेटिवली एज कम्पेयर टू शेयर मार्केट हाउ मेनी ऑफ योर कलीग्स इन्वेस्ट इन म्यूचुअल फंड डेफिनेटली मोर एज अ परसेंटेज डेफिनेटली मोर पीपल इन्वेस्ट इन म्यूचुअल फंड एज कम्पेयर टू शेयर now why i'm talking about all these things what does hdfc asset management company do let us understand kal aapka ek mutual fund ka ek sawal tha na ki exactly hota kya hai so i'll tell you quickly the working of mutual fund also so that you'll get an idea about what hdfc amc does so if you remember like yesterday we had said that mutual fund is registered like a trust what exactly is a mutual fund how does it work mutual fund is registered like a trust ab ye trust kyu chahiye let us understand hmm Before taking this scenario, let us say I am talking about one single individual. That's me, and I tell you that I have the knowledge, expertise, and everything. You all have to come to me. Everyone has to give me ten, ten thousand rupees. I'll manage your funds. Don't worry. Faith is in me. Hmm. Tomorrow, I'll give you ten thousand rupees. Example is running. <laughs> okay. Now you still might have some faith in me. You still might give me money. a person walking on the road might not even know me and why would he invest 10000 with me why would he even give me 10000 uske man mein kya doubt aayega rachna 10000 rupaye leke bhag gayi to is there any one is there any person who regulates me is there any one who is keeping an eye on me keeping a watch on me to hoga hi nahi na koi bhi so now what i am thinking is that acha mere upar bharosa nahi hai ek kaam karte hai ek trust create kar lete hai trust is an institution it's an organization hmm and for a trust you have trustees i'm sure you have heard about these names at least trustees hote hain so it's not one individual now it will be multiple individuals who are now responsible okay and this trust is nothing but a mutual fund where variety of trustees are there ab jo normal commoner hai commoner isme kya karta hai bolo isme paisa lagata hai they'll give whatever 10000 20000 whatever is money available with them but now these trustees trustees don't have knowledge about the market neither they don't and neither they have a time to decide which share to buy which share to sell na time and na expertise hai dono bhi baat hai so what mutual fund does is that they appoint another company jan se suno they appoint another company and company ko bolte hai tum ek kaam karo hamare paas jitna bhi paisa jama hota hai whatever funds we have you take decisions about these funds ki where these funds are to be invested in how much percentage these are to be invested when to invest when to Uh, you know liquidate this investment all entire call will be yours which company is this this is an asset management company see the name itself tells you the meaning na what is the company's name it's an asset management company company karti kya assets ko manage karti kiske assets ko manage kar rahi hai waise whose assets is it managing it is managing the assets of this mutual fund see assets means what the money which has been received here na who gave this money who gave this money people like you and me so ye itne dher sare log jo the they have invested money with the mutual fund lot of money is parked here but they don't know where to invest when to invest so they have appointed an asset management company who will take this decision on the mutual fund is it okay till here yes now what do you think will be the income of asset management company commission and fees 
professional fees because they are managing the fund. Na? So they'll charge professional fees. They'll also charge some uh, funds as commission also. So major income kya bolo? Fees and commission for AMC. Okay. AMC ka dhanda kab badega? When will AMC profit? If you can change the place. Huh? Where? That is also a little bit risky area. Just check the AC. <laughs> okay. Better. Right. Chalo, quickly tell me. When will AMC benefit? When will AMC's performance go on increasing? MF ki sabse. Like more and more funds mutual fund has, more and more funds AMC is going to manage. And if more and more funds AMC is going to manage, it's going to get more and more commission and fees. So logical. Okay. Now you only think logically. Number of people investing in mutual funds over the past years is increasing or decreasing? Everyone, it is increasing. Now these days they also do advertisements for mutual funds. Mutual funds, sahi hai. You might have seen these advertisements on television. Okay. So number of people investing is in mutual fund is going to go on increasing ideally. Matlab past may be increase ho raha tha. Aaj bhi iske baad increase ho nahi ho nahi. Salary of people is increasing. Investable surplus is increasing. Mainne bola hai se aap apke job mein aas paas apne friends ko pucho. I am sure out of 10, at least 4 or 5 people will be investing in mutual funds. But hardly out of 10, one might be investing in shares. Directly in share market. Okay, in this scenario, I hope you have understood my thought process that over the period of next 5 years, next 6 years, ideally number of people entering into mutual funds is going to be more. If that increases, the funds with mutual fund increase. If the fund with mutual fund increases, AMC ka income will increase. Now people have a choice that which mutual fund is to be bought. Market may bought mutual fund, hai na? but what people do, trusted names is what they look for. Can I say HDFC is a very big trusted name? It is. So HDFC mutual fund, na, okay, we are safe. Is what a conception about people is. Okay, and agar HDFC mutual fund ke baare baat kar rahe, to HDFC ka mutual fund jo hai, uska ek hi asset management company hai, majorly, and it is HDFC AMC. So these people are very smart, na? Are they totally different entities, the mutual fund and asset management company? Totally different companies? On paper, yes. On paper, yes, one is a trust, one is an AMC. But finally, whose company is this? HDFC only, na? So now, can you tell me? Ye HDFC is holding an AMC also. And HDFC, ka kuch trust ki bhi lena dena. So can I say HDFC is the parent company? Had we discussed this yesterday? Yes, HDFC is like the parent company. Marathi mein apan, man to ki tatat na vatit. Vatit na tatat. So it's as good as either one, so is jeb mein paisa raha hai ya fir is jeb mein paisa raha hai? Apni company paisa bana rahi hai. Right? Have you understood this? So finally, please take this, make this understanding that in fundamental analysis, two things are going to work. One is proper core analysis agreed. But for this logic, I need not know even what is balance sheet, what is P&L. But I definitely need to know what is a mutual fund. What is an AMC? What does an AMC do? This is basic knowledge that you require. Okay. Now let us check the financials of or at least the shareholding pattern of HDFC AMC. Again, shareholding. Five. I was wondering why face value is so odd. Okay, the only problem in this website I'll tell you is it has so many ads. Again, as expected, this is zero. These are the number of promoter, shareholding, promoter holding. Okay, now if you see here, ideally you should be able to understand this now. See, Indian holding, Indian promoter holding, the major point that I was talking about pledged shares, how much is this? Zero, good. So, we are on a plus point here. If I am talking about promoter, which promoter is holding 52%? Ideally, which one? Main HDFC only, no? Because HDFC AMC hai. So, ideally, it should be of HDFC only. Okay? But anyways, that was not our criteria for today's discussion. Pledge shares ka pata chal gaya. Any one more company and then we can move on. 
stocks divan housing danger companies you want all hmm? all right so if you are talking about divan housing shareholding pattern no, nothing is wrong with the shareholder i mean no pledge shares it's completely zero through and through so as i said problems mein apne aap pe variety hai it's not only a problem with shareholding pattern that is what i'm telling you repeatedly don't take only single parameter now with divan housing what you could have said are wa 0% pledged but with yes bank that is also a problem driven company that has pledged shares okay so i hope you are understanding this one important parameter but not the only parameter right shall we go on now yes i guess three examples karke aapko kafi acche samajh mein aa gaya that is what you have to check as far as the shareholding pattern is concerned a promoter can be a company also yes absolutely it is possible encumbered no encumbered is again no no encumbered is same as pledged same as pledged encumbered means against which there is some charge which has been created gahan thevne against which there same same it's same a charge lien so take if you go dig down details charge and encumbered is the same but if i'm using the word lien or hypothecation or mortgage or there there are small differences here but basic lien or encumbered it has a replaceable meaning same mean promoter ha huh. how can we know about it ha huh? is that your question okay okay so you are talking about selling or marking as a lien are you talking about promoter selling shares completely selling you are not talking about marking on both fronts okay so i'll tell you uh, if any promoter sells his or her own shares definitely that comes as a news and generally what happens is that inside the shareholding pattern only you will find something known as bulk deals ke promoter jab share sell karta hai to he will not say i will share i will sell 10 shares will be in lakhs so that is known as a bulk deal a huge number of shares change hands bulk deal some people also call it as a block deal okay in simple words thousands and lakhs of shares change hands within a second or within a minute okay it's a mandatory disclosure that it has to be announced on the exchange that such a big bulk deal such a big block deal has taken place so you can easily get these news on money control also bsc nsc now the question is whenever there is a bulk deal who is the buyer who is the seller if promoter is the seller in the bulk deal is it a good sign or a bad sign bad sign but again i'll tell you what people think i say half knowledge is dangerous what people have heard oh if there is a bulk deal or there is a block deal something is going terribly wrong but who is on the buyer side who is on the seller side is very important if promoter is on the buyer side is that a problem no why he is confident he is wanting to increase the shareholding in his own company so in fact it's a good sign that in a bulk deal or in a block deal the promoter is on the buyer side is this also clear yes so if you want to write down one more concept bulk deal it's a deal where multiple number of shares multiple number of shares into bracket in lakhs multiple number of shares into bracket in lakhs are bought and sold are bought and sold within a second or seconds within a second or seconds what was important to note here tell me in a bulk deal who is the buyer and who is the seller is important <laughs> you were talking about divan housing na
and in Divan Housing Corporation, I was talking about what? Shareholding. In shareholding, we were talking about bulk deeds. Now, it will be done. Then, I will quickly dictate the last. See. It's here. 16th July, there are so many bulk deals. So many bulk deals on 16th July. And you can see here, Adroid Financial Services, buy side. See, how many shares? This is, wow, 23 lakh shares of the one housing which are being sold. And I say, bade bade deals, kab ho rahe, kya ho rahe, you will have to check. And as I mentioned, that if, if such a bulk deal is of the promoter, then it's going to be a little bit of a problematic situation. I remember this had happened once. I had bought shares of Kotak Mahindra Bank. And in Kotak Mahindra Bank, not the promoter, but one of the top level people or some relative of the promoter or something like that, very close to the company, they had done a bulk deal on a selling side. Good side nor bad side? Bad side. But again, what is the problem? Fundamentally, bank was amazing. I had done a fundamental analysis. I bought the share. And as I said, it's going to be going to be going to be going to be going. And that is what happened. I bought it and immediately within 2 to 3 days, it corrected by 4%. Corrected by 4%, went down by 4%. What happened? 4% is not good. And then I came to know about this bulk deal or a block deal. But, Please understand, some investors come in panic and they say, Bapre, 4% if this stock is going down, something terribly is wrong and they will sell off the shares and book losses. Now this is where your study comes into picture. I was strong that my study was correct because there was a bulk deal, because someone thought that this is not worth holding into, does not mean that the fundamentals changed drastically. So said, maybe I will have to wait a little bit more, but within three months, the share just did not cross my buying price, but I sold it almost at a 12% return. 12% return in 3 months, huh? not annualized return of 12%. Okay, so that is the power of fundamental analysis that helps you stay with your decision even if something goes wrong news wise. Okay, so the last point that I wanted to tell you that if the promoter, bulk deal only, na? if the promoter is on the selling side, should we buy into such company or should we stay away from such a company temporarily at least? We should stay away from such a company and as I said not lifelong at least for a temporary phase. Stay away from such a company and vice versa. So obviously if promoter is on the buyer side, we may think about buying it. Okay till here? Yes. Now let us move on to the next concept. So, we will come back to the annual report now. I hope shareholding pattern is very well understood. No doubt in this one now? Yes. So, now if we come back to the contents of our annual report, now I am sure at least you know about some points. You know what is a balance sheet, you know what is a profit and loss, you know the concept of standalone, you know the concept of consolidated also. Today, I will show you something which is known as auditor's report. Okay. Yesterday we did discuss about auditors. कि अगर auditor ने पैसा खाया तो क्या? We said that there could be a rare scenario where auditor is also involved. But auditor being involved in the fraud, generally it's going to be a very 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 rare scenario. हजारों में एक company हो सकती है मैं भी या फिर लाखों करोड़ों में एक आध company हो सकती है. He is completely involved through and through in the fraud. Okay. So auditor's report is a very basic thing that you have to check before you buy into shares of that company. So I'll tell you what what we have to look at in the annual uh, in the auditor's report exactly. So the page number is three hundred. Right. So this is the auditor's report. And if you see the heading of this auditor's report itself, it says it's an independent auditor's report. You know what is the meaning of independent? Unbiased. It is the responsibility of the auditor to write the heading that we are unbiased. Humko kisi ne kharid nahi We are acting as a third party. I guess that is what we were discussing yesterday. Auditor being a third party. Okay. So now let us understand what is this auditor's report or why audit is required as such. No one will teach this point in fundamental analysis because many people feel ki auditor's report se kya lena dena. 
but i feel this is something which is very basic you have to check this and those who are chartered accountants they only know that what are the latest updates in auditors report i teach this for ca intermediate students ca final students also so this is the latest auditors report that i have got and this one has the format has underwent tremendous changes due to which for investors it's a very positive sign okay so we'll first understand what is this auditors report before we move on to auditors report anyone knows exactly what is audit or why an auditor is required in the first place auditor hota hai to sabko pata hai someone known as auditor you might have seen audit team coming in your company and doing some kind of checking also maybe and there are many people who get scared of auditor hmm. they'll get scared sometimes ki abhi ye kya nikalne wala point bhagwan jane so why auditor is required any idea बैलेंस शीट चेक करने के लिए पी एंड एल चेक करने के लिए तो वो तो इन्वेस्टर भी चेक कर लेगा देख के मेरे को दिख गया बैलेंस शीट ऑथेंटिसिटी लाने के लिए ओके एनीथिंग एल्स कंपनी डील्स कैसे कर रही है हाँ बिजनेस कैसे कर रही है सो डज द ऑडिटर कमेंट ऑन द बिजनेस डिसीजन वेदर योर बिजनेस डिसीजन आर वाइज और नॉट नो ऑडिटर वुड नेवर कमेंट ऑन you are not doing this business properly this could have been your strategy rather than this auditor is no one to comment on that they will cross check so the original point that everyone was talking about to check to cross check but now instead of the auditor cross checking see i am the i am the owner of larson and tubro see i am the shareholder of larson and tubro can't i directly go to larson and tubro and check if i want to check something Ah, so now we have to understand a little bit of law also, no? That there is a section in Companies Act which says that the books of accounts, the basic books, sales, kitna hua, profit, kitna hua, uh, sorry, sales, kitna hua, purchase, kitna hua, all these figures, which are the financial records, they are not accessible to shareholders. If I go to Larson and Tubro office tomorrow and if I say, ah, chalo, cash book, bata, I want to check. I think, ah, kono, I'm a chartered accountant, I want to check. But so what? There are so many chartered accountants in India. Does it mean everyone will come in our office and check? No. So please understand this very basic point that shareholders are not given an access to the books of accounts of the company. We can't go directly in the office and say, "I want to see this document and I want I want to see these records." Then please understand the problem of shareholders. See, if I were to buy shares of some company, I have to check the financials, and then only I will be in a comfortable position. Utna bharosa tabhi aayega na. but you can imagine so many lakhs and crores of shareholders even every day 1% of the shareholders go to lnt office they'll go mad okay out of that could there be certain competitors also very nice they are getting ready made information they can strategize accordingly so this will be a foolish idea it will be complete mess so what provision companies act has done is that companies act says shareholders you are not allowed to check the books of accounts but we can do one thing for you you appoint a representative okay you all together cumulatively appoint a representative and we will allow this representative to come into our company and check our books of accounts with me yes so ek bar fir se shareholders kya karenge they'll appoint a representative this guy will come into my company he will check the books of accounts he will make a report and this report will be submitted to you all and who is this representative chartered accountant hai isi ko hum bolenge auditor okay so can i say our responsibility of checking or our wish of checking the books is being fulfilled by whom by the auditor now the question is who is this auditor is it the employee of the company only now you will tell me if this auditor is a employee of the of this same company lnt ka employee hai chartered accountant who auditor do you think that he is going to be wo word kaun sa tha aapko yaad dila rahi hu yes very good is he going to be independent impossible kyu kal agar usne bola so as, just as an example if auditor finds out certain fraud and if he goes to the promoter and he says i found this fraud promoter says salary ban kal se kar can i say direct bias aa sakta hai is case mein yes so that is why again law has made a provision that auditor cannot be employee of the company auditor cannot be the promoter of the company 
how promoter of the company i'll talk about our own academy expert professional academy private limited board of directors are also chartered accountants every every single person in the company is a chartered accountant okay now what we can say very good we will do the audit of our own company and we'll say wow amazing everything is proper and we give an auditor's report do you think this will be independent no so the loads and loads of provisions are made to ensure that auditor is completely unbiased completely independent take the mock it clear yes so what is important to be checked in the auditor's report is this very first part which talk, talks about the opinion on the financial statements okay you have to search for this which where in the auditor general in the second paragraph says in our opinion okay what is he saying that the financial statements give a true and fair view this is the word that you have to search for whether it gives a true and fair view or it does not give a true and fair view or it gives a true and fair view except something or what so whenever auditor uses this phrase true and fair view in simple words financials are reliable again what is the word that i'm using they are reliable he is not saying whether the financial condition is good or bad wo aap decide karo analysis aap karo okay but like i guess he asked the doubt, doubt yesterday i am looking at the balance sheet i am making my analysis lekin these figures themselves are not reliable these figures are cooked up balance sheet is inflated how will can i say his entire analysis can go waste entire analysis will go waste if the data itself is fake okay so how do i check the authenticity of data by checking this phrase whether financial statements are giving a true and fair view okay now many people might say that this is a rubbish parameter why because 99% of the companies or 99.5% of the companies they will say auditors report they give a true and fair view okay this was definitely the story some years ago even up to 2 or 3 years ago where you know auditors generally used to consider thoda thoda chalta hai thoda dekh lenge category thoda sa understanding pattern you under, you know you understand the understanding pattern theek hai samajh chalta hai and they would have given true and fair view but now as i mentioned yesterday everyone is looking at auditor from a lens auditor might have been involved auditor might have done something so now even auditor is getting scared a little bit these days so what an amazing addition which has come into picture in the auditor's report is something known as a key audit matter very few people will be knowing about this why i will tell you this key audit matter being mandatorily introduced in the auditor's report has started from 31st march 2019 मतलब अभी जो ऑडिटर्स रिपोर्ट हुआ 31 मार्च 2019 दिस इज द फर्स्ट ऑडिटर्स रिपोर्ट वेर इन की ऑडिट मैटर्स आर मेंशन ओके सो दैट इज व्हाई दोस फंडामेंटल एनालिसिस एनालिस्ट्स हु आर नॉट चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट्स दे माइट नॉट इवन नो व्हाट इज दिस की ऑडिट मैटर एंड दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ सीए सिलेबस दैट इज व्हाई आई नो दिस कॉन्फिडेंटली आई कैन टेल यू व्हाट इज दिस की ऑडिट मैटर पहले क्या होता था आज क्या हो रहा है आई विल कंपेयर इट फॉर यू ओके earlier it used to happen that in the auditor's report only this point opinion finish end of the story this was the only point which the shareholders had to look at and that is why there was no value addition now what sometimes happen is that the auditor comes across some matter which he tells the promoters promoters i feel that this is a little bit risky i didn't find any fraud in this but i feel there is a risk involved okay i'll give you a simple example where your internal controls are weak understand what are internal controls your basic cross checks let's say for an it company a lot of client data i'm very bad at it yeah so even if i'm saying something if i'm say, saying something terribly wrong then correct me okay let us say i am an it company and loads of my clients data is being handled by me okay i store this data on the cloud and there is no password protection no protection nothing nothing at all for the cloud आओ जाओ घर तुम्हारा टाइप्स एनी वन कैन कम एक्सेस द क्लाउड डाउनलोड डेटा फिनिश एंड ऑफ द स्टोरी कैन आई से दिस इज अ वेरी बिग रिस्क इन्वॉल्व इन द कंपनी 
ideally every company which is storing some data on the cloud they will ensure that it, that is properly safeguarded hmm? now tell me do you think that this is going to change directly the profit and loss for the company not immediately see reputation will be lost reputation ka baad mein loss i mean it will impact the financials that is at a later stage today is anything happening no not today but don't you think auditor might have communicated this to the promoters promoters this is loophole there is a problem in your internal controls problem in the security of your cloud this might hamper your business could the auditor have told this to the promoter yes but earlier auditor never used to communicate this to the shareholders why because nothing is going wrong in the financial statements okay now what auditor is required to tell auditor is required to tell any key audit matter now the word itself says key means what important any important audit matter which he has communicated to the promoters he has to communicate to the shareholders okay so i feel this is a fantastic value addition in the auditors report starting from 2019 abhi ab ekdam taza taza hai okay so what i feel you should be checking is that at least you should read what are these key audit matters so yahan pe har ek cheez describe ki rehti hai what is a key audit matter for that you need some financial background to understand what is this but basic knowledge se samajh mein bhi aa sakta hai key audit matters mein there are significant accounting judgments okay significant accounting judgments when we are talking about timing of revenue recognition itna bahut danger danger baatein nahi bataungi aapko but basic things there are many judgments involved judgments related to what timing of revenue recognition you understand revenue recognition when revenue is to be booked isme judgment involved hai kya pe now for larson and tubro they are constructing airports ek saal mein ho gaya आधे महीने में नहीं विल इट टेक इयर्स टूगेदर मे बी टू इयर्स थ्री इयर्स क्वाइट पॉसिबल दे आर बिल्डिंग अ ह्यूज हाईवे वेरी लॉन्ग हाईवे विल इट टेक अगेन टू थ्री इयर्स यस सो डोंट यू थिंक दैट सम पार्ट ऑफ रेवेन्यू हैज टू बुक एवरी ईयर या फिर तीन साल तक जीरो रेवेन्यू एंड एट द एंड ऑफ द ईयर फुल रेवेन्यू बुक विल दैट बी शोइंग अ वेरी बैड पिक्चर यस सो देर आर सम स्टैंडर्ड विच टेल दैट हाउ मच प्रपोर्शनल रेवेन्यू इज टू बी बुक्ड वेन booked means what in, you have to record okay. record okay so let's take this example assume that it's a 300 crore worth rupees contract okay can you book entire 300 crores on day 1 can you record sales 300 crores day 1 no can should you record entire 300 crores after the completion no shouldn't you be recording it on a timeline basis yes but can i say there could be some judgments involved here na You can't directly say three years, three hundred crores, one by three, one by three, one by three. No. Very important is how much work is completed. In the first year, out of hundred kilometers, let us say only two kilometers work was complete. How can you book one third? Are you understanding the point? Yes. So are there lots of judgments involved? Yes. Now what are we telling the shareholders? Shareholders, you be aware that there are many judgments involved. does it mean that financial statements are fraudulent does it mean companies fraudulent no but just be aware about this that see what is the problem agar judgment hai to problem kya ho sakta hai bolo think logically this does not require any accounting base judgment involved hai to kya worst case scenario will think about ha jitna revenue jab book hona chahiye utna book nahi ho raha hai so we will continue with the same example out of 300 crores let us say they booked 100 crores in the first year they showed 100 crore revenue in the first year wherein only 5 kilometers was completed or only 6 kilometers was completed just as an example okay is it a terrible scenario no why understand over a period of 3 years finally 300 crores hai na finally they are booking 300 crores only na see if it's a huge variation it could be a terrible scenario so just as an example 100 crore book karna chahiye tha but apne 2 crore se book kiya hai that's a huge variation that could be a terrible scenario but 100 crore book hona chahiye tha 80 crores book kiya hai could be fair enough i mean that is a judgment and wall no finally how much revenue is to be recognized there are certain accounting standards on this we are not going to discuss that 
there's an accounting standard number 7 which tells how much revenue is to be recognized when we are not digging down deep but let us understand the worst case scenarios worst case scenarios kya hoga ye jo 300 crores ka revenue hai wo thoda aaj zyada book hoga and kal thoda kam book hoga but finally revenue is same na is it going to impact the fundamentals as such very strongly no there could be a timing difference but in all we are booking the same amount of revenue so we need to understand such points and if this be the scenario can i say it's not something which horrifies me it's not something which terrifies me can i still go ahead yes i can still go ahead this is not a minus point for me hum minus points plus points seekh rahe hai na so a big minus point kab ho sakta hai bolo big minus sign kab ho kab ho sakta hai where there is a huge variation okay and if it's a minor variation we could be okay with that hmm so coming back to our auditor's report where is the first minus point that you get tell me first minus point for an auditor's report when when there is no true and fair view okay that's the first minus sign and one more thing that you can check out is the key audit matter try to read what is the key audit matter if you feel this is very terrible in this key audit matter assume that the key audit matter could have been there are no internal controls in the company and there are great chances that some assets might be stolen agar kuch aisa ki audit matter hai should you still invest in the company or stay away na stay away a lot of internal controls are missing in simple words fraud abhi tak pakda nahi gaya but shayad ek do saal ke baad ye fraud samne aa sakta hai so in that case you stay away from the company is this clear auditor's report ka ek thumb rule samajh mein aa gaya aapko yes so if you want to write down the key point for auditor's report you have to check two things in the auditor's report number 1 which paragraph is to be checked tell me opinion paragraph first is opinion paragraph and what is the what is the important phrase that we are looking at true and fair view true and fair view and what is the meaning of true and fair view what did i say it is reliable true and fair view is dash reliable so if it is showing true and fair view is it a positive sign or a negative sign it's a positive sign i hope you have written that as well if it is true and fair it's a positive sign one more parameter to be checked and what is that key audit matter paragraph key audit matters paragraph acha what is what does key audit matter tell us does it tell us that there is a fraud or does it just tell us important things that have been communicated to promoters important things which have been communicated to promoters so you can just write down it discloses it discloses key or uh, sorry it, it discloses important findings of the auditor it discloses important findings of the auditor communicated with whom communicated with the promoters we have already communicated with promoters now we are disclosing to shareholders <laughs> yes very well promoter he is saying that can promoter say that auditor don't disclose this they can ask for anything no? now it is in the hand of the auditor whether to listen to the promoter or not but ideally i am say, telling you what is the title independent auditor's report so ideally even if the promoter pressurizes the auditor don't disclose this 
ऑडिटर कैन वेरी वेल से वी आर इंडिपेंडेंट वी आर अनबायस्ड एंड वी विल डिस्क्लोज वॉट एवर वी वॉन्ट टू ओके नाउ प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड देर आर लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ प्रोविजन ऑन द ऑडिटर ऑल्सो टूमोरो इफ इट इज प्रूव वन दैट ऑडिटर वॉज ऑल्सो इन्वॉल्व ऑडिटर डिड नॉट गिव दीज रिक्वायर्ड डिस्कलोजर्स आई जस्ट टेल यू मॉनिटरी पेनल्टीज अप टू फाइव लैख रुपीज फॉर द ऑडिटर That's not a very small amount. Up to five lakh rupees monetary penalty for the auditor. And number two, which is very risky, his certificate of practice can be cancelled. Okay, certificate of practice being cancelled means end of the career. You can't you can't practice as a chartered accountant then. Okay, such cases will be very extreme cases. I agree, but that is what had happened in Satyam case. No? If you know about this, two auditors of Satyam they are still behind bars. They are in jail right now. because they had also participated in the fraud they had helped the management ki aap thoda aise karenge to aur acha rahega maybe hmm so and again this is not my understanding ha huh? this is proven by the court and that is why i'm saying this is proven by the court they are they have been punished for that so now as i said if auditor is ready to take that risk ki isko kitna manage karna hai then he might do all these things but again i'll tell you practically is becoming difficult and difficult by the day everyone is looking at the auditor from a lens an auditor kuch galat kaam to nahi na kar raha and that is why if you happen to read newspapers in past one or two years you will see many headlines stating that auditor resigns auditor has resigned from the post okay now i'll tell you why this happens see i am the auditor of this company let us say and top level management says auditor don't disclose this auditor say that it is true and fair okay believe it or not construction companies agar hai jiska main audit kar rahi hu to proper dhamki bhi aa sakti hai because promoters are going to be in construction companies you know what kind of promoters in many in many scenarios they will be so they can directly actually give some you know kind of the dhamki that dhamki jaisa bhi you never know ho sakta hai the auditor you should not disclose this so what is the best tool available in the hand of the auditor at that time agar mujhe jaan pyari hai but i am also ethical i can resign i'll say i'll not sign this but i will not listen to you also i will not say it fraud hai but main aapko bhi dhyan main aapki bhi baat nahi sunungi i'll resign so that is the best tool available in the auditor now samajhdar ko ishara kafi auditor resigns good sign or bad sign bad sign very very big thing to be checked and these days you can see multiple resignations of listed companies huh? have you heard about manpasand beverages suna just google it out as a homework today manpasand beverages recent case barely one one and half year ago case they uh, manufacture a fruit drink multiple fruit drinks fruity jaisa competitor hai fruity ka competitor is bol sakte hai and you can imagine something like this the board meeting of the company the annual board meeting that was scheduled somewhere around i guess 26th of may or something like that jisme all financials are considered and everything and auditor resigns on 22nd may pura saal khatam ho gaya so if i'm talking about financial year 2018 19 so 2018 19 so ideally 19 ka now you can check here the report also This is 1819 का report and at the end of the report, I'm just scrolling down and see at the end of the report, you will see who has signed it. It's Mr. Sanjeev Pirgaokar, membership number whatever. Where has the report been signed at? Mumbai, 10th May 2019. Okay. So पूरे साल का ये कौन से financial year का है बोलो? 2018-19 का report ही है signed on 10th of May 2019. okay so you can imagine something like this before he signs off don't you think there'll be a proper meeting of board of directors there'll be a proper meeting of board of directors and the auditor and then all these things will be signed off so assume that the meeting was to be conducted on 1st of may and auditor resigns on 27th april meeting do din pe aayi hai auditor resigns this is a pathetic sign it means that something has gone wrong so first sign that you should absolutely stay away from such a company okay you can't tell that auditor resigns is equal to fraud 
मैं बहुत बड़े प्रॉब्लम में फंसते फंसते बचू एज अ स्पीकर ऑल्सो वॉट रिस्क यू गेट इन्वॉल्व इन टू आई वॉज एक्चुअली टीचिंग दिस फॉरेंसिक ऑडिट केस दिस वन पर्सन बेवरेज इज केस इन अ फॉरेंसिक ऑडिट सेमिनार यू नो वॉट इज फॉरेंसिक ऑडिट लाइक आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑडिट राइट नाउ एन ऑडिट विच इज टारगेटेड ओनली टू फाइंड आउट फ्रॉड्स एन ऑडिट विच इज टारगेटेड ओनली टू फाइंड आउट फ्रॉड्स इज नोन एज अ फॉरेंसिक ऑडिट ओके एंड आई एम आई गिव सेशन ऑन फॉरेंसिक ऑडिट ऑल्सो सो आई वॉज गिविंग दिस फॉरेंसिक ऑडिट सेशन इन फ्रंट ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट सिक्सटी चार्टेड अकाउंटेंट सिटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी एट गुड़गांव ओके एंड आई वॉज डिस्कसिंग दिस मन पर्सन बेवरेज इज केस एंड थैंकफुली आई जस्ट यूज दिस वर्ड दैट द ऑडिटर रिजाइंड and it is very surprising that another auditor was appointed who signed the auditor's report mentioning true and fair view within a span of 20 25 days chronology samajh mein aaya kya ek bar fir se who was the original auditor what did he do he resigned see auditor resigned means that the position is vacant now so someone has to come in his place so a new auditor comes in place and this new auditor within 20 25 days signs of the auditor's report and says true and fair view ajeeb lagta hai pehla auditor agar resign kar raha hai and by the way very important auditor has to state the reason why he is resigning it's important he has to also state what reason why he is resigning okay so see not all will say that ye to bekar log hai ekdam isliye main resign karu they'll not say that but what this auditor had told that management is not cooperating with me they are not providing evidences that i want i want to check something they are not providing with evidences it's a very subtle way of th- saying that something is going wrong hmm? new auditor comes in new auditor says i found all evidences i found that nothing is wrong so true and fair sign off and i thankfully said in the seminar let me repeat that mujhe bada ajeeb laga so one chartered accountant said that ajeeb kya lagna usme how can you say that this is very abnormal everything was normal auditor got all the documents auditor checked it and auditor signed it what is the problem i said i find it a little bit different as i said i said sir how how can you say confidently that auditor got all the documents auditor checked everything and then said how how can you confidently say this he said because i have signed that balance sheet <laughs> so that new auditor of man person beverages was sitting in front of me so i was so horrified at that <laughs> so as a speaker you do te- you do land up in awkward positions many times but this was the most awkward position in which i have landed and i thank god so many times that i just use the word i find it to be a little bit unusual थैंकफुली ऐसे मैंने नहीं बोला वो ऑर्डर ने तो पैसेज खाए रहेंगे ओके सो हाँ नाउ अगेन अंडरस्टैंड नो सी देर आर सो मेनी केसेस पेंडिंग विथ आर गवर्नमेंट राइट नाउ न्यू ऑडिटर कम्स इन साइंस इट विद इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव डेज डोंट यू थिंक द गवर्नमेंट इज ऑल्सो गोइंट टू टेक दिस अंडर द स्कैनर टाइम लगेगा इमीजिएटली नहीं होगा बट दे विल डेफिनेटली ट्राई टू सर्च वॉट हैपन दैट द ओरिजिनल ऑडिटर वॉज नॉट एबल टू गेट एविडेंस एंड दिस ऑडिटर फाउंड एवरीथिंग सो इनफैक्ट कैन आई सी द न्यू ऑडिटर इज एट अयर रिस्क एक्जैक्टली दिस विल बिकम वायरल मच हायर करेक्ट सो न्यू ऑडिटर वेर एवर इज साइनिंग ही इज टेकिंग अ बिग रिस्क इन दिस केस सो whatever risk he is taking whether any investigation will be put up on the new auditor or not we are not really concerned with that what are we concerned with as a company se dur raho bhai where auditor is resigning it's not a good thing at all so that is com- a definitely negative point for us okay scenario is clear very recently i i don't think the annual report report is still available online but i read it in newspaper business standard this true and fair view wala case there is this company known as macloyd russell we'll just check if it is ha so i'll tell you reason uh, the the detailed reason can be given is basically given to ministry of corporate affairs 
by law by law there is a separate form whenever auditor resigns uh, ADT2 करके form रहता है he has to fill up that form he has to fill uh, he has to submit it to the Ministry of Corporate Affairs like to the central government as good as to the central government इसमें पूरा detail reasoning लिखा होता है there he can write that I I I find that there is some suspicion there might be a possible fraud or he can write it there but to the media he will not give this comment because in the media if he gives this comment and finally is there a threat again for him um i don't think so i'm not really i'm i'm not sure about let me i'll just uh, repeat his question he is asking that under right to information act can this document which the auditor has submitted wherein he has given the reason why he is resigning can that be checked or not so i'm i'm not sure about the provision of rti whether this document would fall up under rti or not but i feel this is a very confidential document and logically it will not be seen by anyone else otherwise it is a public document ho jata tha na so logically ye nahi aana chahiye bahar ha exactly so i i really doubt if this can be checked or not no so there is a separate wing like i said ministry of corporate affairs this is a separate department with the central government there are so many people who are actually employed in that department ab ye log kon rehte they are generally upsc qualified people upsc and who have taken ias indian administrative services or ifs indian, uh, indian फॉरेन सर्विस ने फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज करके भी एक होता है आई एफ एस इज फॉरन सर्विस ऑल्सो बट सॉरी आई आर एस बोलना था मुझे नॉट आई एफ एस इंडियन रेवेन्यू सर्विसेज इंडियन रेवेन्यू सर्विसेज एंड इंडियन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सर्विसेज ये लोग जनरली उस मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट अफेयर्स में रहते हैं दे विल बी दंस विल बी चेकिंग ऑल दिस थिंग्स ओके सो दिस दिस कंपनी आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट मैक्लॉइड रसल इंडिया लिमिटेड अब यहाँ पे न्यूज में आता है कि नहीं विल जस्ट चेक बट आई जस्ट हैपन टू रीड this about macloid russell barely 2 weeks ago in business standard where an auditor dekho false downgraded rating was see now what has happened rating to garbad ho hi gaya offloads macloid russell promoters shares in open market offload is sell offloading selling kiske se sell ho gaye shares promoter ke se see we have talked about this negative sign and why i gave you the example of macloid russell i'm not sure if they have put it here or not as of now but inka jo auditors report hai not yet i guess so inka jo auditors report hai that mentions that financial statements of this company are not showing true and fair this is a very rare site to check it Generally auditors क्या करते play a little bit safe. They might say that financial statements are showing true and fair view except one or two points, except something that is also bad. But I have never seen a listed company comparatively known. By the way, if you know this, Macleod Russell makes tea, beverages company again, tea बनाते हैं. तो ये company का audit report if I find because I, almost a week ago I was trying to check मिला तो नहीं मुझे but it is showing an adverse opinion adverse the name itself suggests normal english meaning adverse opinion means what something has terribly gone wrong and your true and fair view nahi hai so why would you invest in such a company is this okay so one more very important point related to auditors what important point did we talk about if the auditor resigns one more important parameter for the auditor auditor resigns from the company should you stay invested with such a company or should you stay away from such a company stay away that's a negative point audit auditor resigns is a negative point okay
Hmm. Ideally, if he is an independent order, he should be saying all these things. But finally, auditor can be. <laughs> so, a uh, a truly independent auditor would say anything and everything he wants to. So, I should not be talking these things about my profession. But not everyone will say all the things about. कंपनी में ये चल रहा है वो चल रहा है एंड फाइनली ही हैज़ टू फाइंड ऑल प्रूफ्स फॉर दैट आल्सो ना आई विल टेल यू वेरी सिंपल थिंग इफ मैनेजमेंट हैज़ डन सम फ्रॉड डोंट यू थिंक मैनेजमेंट विल ट्राई टू कंसीलेट टू द बेस्ट पॉसिबल लेवल ऑडिटर को सिर्फ शक है ही कांट से दैट आई फाइंड सस्पेशन दैट देस अ फ्रॉड इफ ऑडिटर डिक्लेयर्स दिस इन पब्लिक द कंपनी इनफैक्ट कैन सू द ऑडिटर फॉर अ डिफेमेशन केस यू आर ट्राइंग टू डिफेमस बाय सेइंग दैट देयर इज अ सस्पेशन प्रूफ एंड देन टॉक अबाउट इट So auditor might not even get all proofs for everything. So then he prefers to keep a distance at that. Okay. So coming back to Larson and Tubro now, I hope this very important tool that I wanted to talk about auditor's report, and based on auditor auditor's report, what all things we can understand. This is clear now. Yes. Now what we are doing is that this is the balance sheet of Larson and Tubro. Best part about money control website again is that you will see. Five years data at one shot. अच्छा, how did we go here? By the way, normal. I typed Larson and Tubro. तो ये अपना पेज आ गया normal. And left hand side में, like we were checking shareholding. We were checking shareholding. Now what did I check? Financials. I clicked on financials. And in financials, this basic first point appears as the balance sheet. Okay. Now. We are going to just try and understand at a very basic level that balance sheet के अंदर होता क्या है. By the way, this format of balance sheet and this format of balance sheet is going to be a little bit different. In the annual report, whatever the format is given, it's a very standardized format. Format name, as per which this standardized format is made, is known as the IND AS, Indian Accounting Standard. इसके हिसाब से format होता है. So not every company can decide that मुझे assets ऐसे लिखना है, मुझे liability ऐसे लिखना है. Don't you think there should be standardization? Standardization होना ही चाहिए. And who decides the standardization? It is the Indian Accounting Standards which decides standardization. Balance sheet ऐसी ही दिखनी चाहिए. Profit and loss should appear like this only. You don't have a choice. See, if we are given a choice, can I say everyone will try to show a better picture than what it is? Yes. So there is absolute standardization. But instead of understanding it in this way, because Anyways, you get only two years data here, no? I'll show you money control data because it is showing how much years data? Five years data. And if you want to check the authenticity once, let us say your total capital and liabilities. How much figure is this? One lakh twenty-five thousand seven twenty-five. I hope this is visible. Yes, one lakh twenty-five thousand seven twenty-five. So money control data is also authentic. Point sixty nine तक भी same है आप बोलेंगे point sixty nine से क्या होता है? This is rupees in crores ना? <laughs> okay, so it's having a big impact, right? If I cross check March eighteen also, March eighteen का balance sheet total कितना है देखो? Total is one lakh fifteen thousand six ten point zero two one lakh fifteen. Ooh, अब why this happens I'll tell you. Uh, there could be a restatement sometimes. Now I'll have to go into some standards. So what could happen? I'll tell you. Um, as a simple example, I'll tell you. I come across a specific point which got omitted to be recorded in the previous year. Okay. Let us say, I have purchased some asset purchase kiya tha, and this transaction was omitted by me. It was a genuine error, human error, that this error, this asset did not get recorded only. When did the auditor come to know about it, or when did the management come to know about it? Not in the last year, but in the current year. Auditor came to know about it, or management came to know about it in the current year. These Indian accounting standards, Ind AS, say that you are very well allowed to revise the previous year figures and get it changed. जो कुछ भी genuine error है, genuine omission है, you are allowed to go back change. Okay, so there could be a possibility that this shows that small revision. But money control might not have updated it. थोड़ा थोड़ा errors one percent here and there हो सकता है. But finally I am telling you that one percent error versus five years analysis at one shot. I still give preference to this. 
okay and this is very well authentic otherwise so i'll tell you what are the key headers today detailed analysis kal karna apne ko once we understand the balance sheet details very nicely then we would move on to the next next step which is ratio analysis which is the heart of fundamental analysis okay so if i talk about balance sheet the very basic fundamentals we must know the meanings at least the very first thing is shareholders funds is always the first heading shareholders funds wherein we get to check equity share capital and this is the total share capital so in simple words what is shareholders funds these are the owners funds owners fund means the promoters funds with which they have started the business that's like the core fund okay so what i feel we should do is all these balance sheet items the headers at least we'll write down a one liner meaning for that as well okay so now we are talking about the balance sheet and ba balance sheet meanings terms so understanding the balance sheet terms okay you can give the heading as understanding balance sheet terms and what is the first balance sheet term shareholders funds shareholders funds a quick one liner meaning of shareholders funds what was that promoters funds or core funds right on promoters funds or promoters money or the core funds with which with which business is started with which business is started simple can businessman raise additional funds can businessman raise additional funds yes ab iske liye aapko ek term pata hona chahiye when businessman raises funds for the first time from general public that is called as an ipo what is ipo initial public offer this entire discussion of what is ipo exactly i have discussed this entirely in basics of stock market lecture okay but for you to understand what is an ipo it is the first time when the promoter raises money from general public like you and me okay i'll give you a simple example our academy expert professional academy private limited private limited kal aapko agar expert academy ke shares lene allowed or not allowed not allowed as such because you are an outsider some person from kerala some person from delhi bahut logon ko invest karna hai so that that will not be feasible also so again we'll have to go into company law for that we'll have to convert that private limited company into a public limited company first and agar aur bhi log chahiye to list karna padega that's a totality pe process hai wo so whenever the funds are raised for the first time that is called as an ipo initial public offer but just check this dekho inka share capital yahan tak see 185.91 then it goes to 186.30 obviously in crores chal raha hai na then again it remains stable at 186. फाइव नाइन अरे नहीं थोड़ा सा बढ़ गया टू एटी पॉइंट टू सेवन टू एटी पॉइंट फाइव फाइव माइनर चेंज हो रहा है लेट अस आल्सो चेक द एन्युअल एन्युअल रिपोर्ट के फिगर्स सी टू एटी पॉइंट फाइव फाइव एंड टू एटी पॉइंट टू सेवन विजिबल यस टू एटी पॉइंट फाइव फाइव एंड टू एटी पॉइंट टू सेवन अब इसका मतलब क्या मार्च 19 में आईपीओ आया क्या वापस नहीं आईपीओ जिंदगी में एक ही बार आता है व्हाई इट्स एन इनिशियल पब्लिक ऑफर ना बट कैन दे डू सम एडिशनल राउंड्स ऑफ इशूइंग मोर शेयर्स ज्यादा शेयर्स वो इशू कर सकते हैं प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दिस टर्म अगर पीपल लाइक यू एंड मी जनरल पब्लिक को इफ दे आर इशूइंग फ्रेश शेयर्स सो इन सिंपल वर्ड्स इफ दे आर इशूइंग फ्रेश शेयर शेयर ऑन अ लार्ज स्केल 
then it is called as a follow on public offer or a further public offer like in cricket we have we play the first innings and the second the team batting second they score very poorly us to follow on ke liye rehta hai na 200 runs or something like that there is this run difference so follow on mil jata hai matlab kya hota hai same team bats twice once entire batting order is out and second time again they are batting so it's something like this like a follow on first time they have raised funds again they are raising funds from the public so if funds are raised from the general public it is known as a follow on public offer but is it necessary that every single time they are going to raise money from money from general public not required could they raise money from private institutions yes could they raise money from only few public financial institutions yes ye bhi alag alag tarike ho sakte hai so please don't be under the impression that all these 5 years they have come up with an fpo no when they are raising money from very small group technically if you want to know this is known as a private placement of shares if you want to repeat what is known it known as private placement of shares the word itself says it na is it like from that perspective from the other person's perspective it is a investment absolutely so assume that you are a mutual fund house okay i want money right now okay but i don't want to raise money through general public what do i do i approach only you or a select group of 3 4 people 4 5 institutions something like that and i say aapse paisa chahiye i'll issue you shares but give money this is known as a private placement private placement ko definition se bhi agar janna hai to not more than 200 people can invest at a time technical definition hai private placement ka okay but if if a public offer is done it will be lakhs of people investing at a time okay so have you understood why the share capital has in, increased private placement is not there in bulk deals no why i'll tell you in private placement actually uh, shares matlab again there will be two possibilities one is a fresh issue of shares or one it is an ofs offer for sale baap re bahut technical ho jayega you know what is an offer for sale or <laughs> some questions to explain with answers will become a very big answer how can i cut it short um simply speaking if i'm talking about private bulk deals they generally don't get रिफ्लेक्टेड ऑन द एक्सचेंज मतलब बल्क डील भी नहीं बोल सकती हूँ मैं उसको बल्क डील के लिए भी क्राइटेरिया होता है वॉट इज अ बल्क डील इज ऑल्सो डिफाइंड इफ आई एम गिविंग यू ओनली सम शेयर लाइक लेट ओनली थाउजेंड शेयर ऑफ प्राइवेट प्लेसमेंट और ओनली वन लैक ऑफ प्राइवेट प्लेसमेंट इट हैज टू फिट इन टू द बल्क डील डेफिनेशन क्राइटेरिया देन इट विल कम अपन द एक्सचेंज अदरवाइज इट विल नॉट प्राइवेट प्लेसमेंट इज जनरली डिक्लेयर सेपरेटली बल्क डील में क्या होता है पीपल बाय और सेल फ्रॉम द एक्सचेंज इट सेल्फ that is a difference okay ha huh. share capital i'll tell one minute so i'll tell you the small difference private placement mein kya hota hai private placement mein the issue of shares does not take place through the exchange shares will not be transferred through bombay stock exchange or national stock exchange i'll directly place him shares in his demat account directly from our account to his account isko bolte hai off market transfer what is the word Off market transfer. The name itself suggests, na, it is not through the stock market. It is off the market. So, ये हो गया private placement. And whenever one person is buying, one person is selling through the exchange in huge quantities, that will be generally like a bulk deal. And that will be reported. Okay. बिल्कुल आएगा. बिल्कुल आएगा इफ एनी कंपनी इज कमिंग अप विद एन एफपीओ और इवन इफ इट इज कमिंग विद एन आईपीओ यू गेट ऑल दिस न्यूज ऑन बीएससी इंडिया एनएससी इंडिया वेबसाइट पे रिफ्लेक्ट होगा यस एब्सोल्युटली ऑल दिस न्यूज कम अप यहां पे देयर इज अ टैब नोन एज कॉर्पोरेट एक्शंस सी कॉर्पोरेट एक्शन and you will find whatever has taken place even see like dividend diya bonus diya split hua hai all these corporate actions you can find here okay so it's again a public information wait wait so his or his doubt was ye share capital jo badhte ja raha hai is it a good sign 
or is it a bad sign? Let us understand this. Whenever capital is increasing, do you think that promoters को आज कुछ काम नहीं है आज क्या करते? चलो थोड़ा share बढ़ capital बढ़ा लेते हैं. Will this happen? Or they will raise money only when they are in need of funds for some purpose. They are in need of funds for some purpose. And if this some purpose is expansion, always a good deal. Okay. If a company is overcapitalized, on the other hand, overcapitalized means what? Pagal hai promoter zarurat se zada paisa raise kar rahe. Then that is a problem. How can we understand that? We'll have to compare how much share capital is there with us and samne samne balance sheet pe kya nazar aara hai? If you see lots and lots of cash and bank balance idle, you have raised funds, you have raised funds, you'll that will come here and your cash and bank balance cash and cash equivalent comes up here increasing cash and cash equivalent is a good sign your bank balance cash balance is increasing is a good sign but if it is in excess it means that funds are idle lying just lying in the account idle funds is also not that good no q q good nahi hai are these idle funds gaining some return? No. If they are not gaining some return, can I say profit and loss may profit thoda? Kam ho jayega na? Okay. So, means and ways to find out under capitalization, over capitalization, there are mathematical problems in CA curriculum. Okay. But in as simple as this, that how much capital they have and how much idle funds, a lot of idle funds, that can be a comparable ratio. There is no thumb rule that I can tell you that is ke upar gaya to over capitalized hai. Okay. But understand this also. No promoter will unnecessarily over capitalize. Why I will tell you. If company is raising capital, don't you think the shareholders expectations are increasing from the company? So he has given me 1 crore. He has given me 2 crores. Aap ne diya mujhe 5 crore. What is your expectation? That 5 crore pe, here, 5% to milna chahiye. As a return you should get at least 5%. Now who is under pressure? I am under pressure as a promoter. That I have to generate that much return so that I can give something to you. Okay. So no promoter will just go on raising capital without any reason. They must see some opportunity for which they are raising the capital. So whether it is good or bad, only based on share capital, it's difficult to tell. It's not a very good parameter to check as such. To take a decision whether I should buy the share or not, sell the share or not. Stand alone, it's not a good parameter. Okay? Okay, Delia? Yes. The last concept that I was going to talk about is reserves and surplus. What do we mean by reserves and surplus? Again, the name itself is suggesting how much excess funds I have with me, how much surplus funds I have with me. Now, this is a standalone parameter for sure. Baki kuch dekhne ki zorat nahi. Reserves badhte ja rahe hai kya? Are my reserves increasing? Is my surplus increasing? If yes, good sign or bad sign? 100% good sign. This is a standalone analysis. Now, let us check for LNT. It was 36,000 crores 5 years ago. Then it was 40,000, 45,000, 48,000, 52,000. It's a consistent rise in reserves and surplus. Is it a good sign? For sure it is. Now mathematically what you can do is, by the way, those who are good at Excel, you can definitely print or copy this to Excel. Direct 5 saal ka you can export it to Excel. So life becomes so easy for analysis now. And you just check how much percentage increase it is. Rather than checking absolute figures, it's always better if you check the percentage increase. If the percentage increase is good, this is a standalone parameter for sure. Okay. Yes. Oh. Reserve mein kya ho sakta hai? So surplus mein kya ho sakta hai? Batati hu. Surplus mein um, accrual system of accounting you know about it? No. Okay. Um, so in some I'll, I'll give you I'll try to give you a very simple example. Wait. What is accrual system of accounting? Let us understand. Whenever a company Huh? 
okay whenever a company sells certain goods sale ho gaya there could be two types of sales one is a cash sale one is a credit sale udhari pe bechna is a credit sale cash sale means what sell give me money immediately and when we are talking about a credit sale i am selling you goods today but you can pay me after let us say 15 days 20 days 45 days whatever that's a credit sale okay till here assume that cash sale is 100 credit sale is 200 in my profit and loss account how much is my sales sales is 300 okay assume that the cost required all cost put together i'm simplifying it all cost put together is 50% so iske against mujhe kitna kharcha hoga 50 iske against mujhe kitna kharcha hoga 100 okay so i'll book your expenses that is 150 and how much is my profit 150 this is my surplus reserves in surplus ka surplus is how much 150 yahan tak okay yes now assume that when i purchased this jaise sales bhi do type ka ho sakta hai aise purchases bhi to do type ka ho sakta hai see i am selling goods to sell the goods i need to purchase it first na at least i purchase the good as a trader or i purchase the raw material hmm for simplicity again let us take cash and credit okay assume ye jo maine purchase kiya tha this 50 purchase was in cash this 100 purchase was on credit again right so that is how my expenses was 150 it is very simple to clear this 150 will go where in the reserves and surplus kahan pe yahan pe reserves and surplus mein this 150 rupees will go because it's my profit it's a surplus na no? surplus of current year will get reflected where under reserves and surplus what is the cash balance Look at the screen. What is the cash balance? Minus fifty. Kaise hua hai? Hundred is cash sale, na? This was sale. This was purchase. How much is cash position? Only fifty. How much is my surplus? One fifty. Ye kaise hai ya one fifty? Because sale. Ye yaha pe bhi hundred hai na? But ye hundred kya hai? This two hundred rupees is still receivable. and this 100 rupees is still payable i'm sure you are not getting this nahi nahi bahut logon ko nahi samajh mein aa raha chehre pe complete bara bach chuke hain okay i'll repeat one more time i'll write the same thing again try to understand this okay this is the last example last 5 minutes of the day so ekdam full attention ready okay so let us say i am doing a sale sale was of how much acha sales were of two types cash and क्रेडिट कितने का कैश सेल किया था मैंने हंड्रेड कितने का क्रेडिट सेल किया था टू हंड्रेड वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ कैश सेल आई सेल आई गेट कैश एंड ऑफ द स्टोरी वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ क्रेडिट सेल आई गेट कैश आफ्टर सम टाइम ओके इंस्टेड ऑफ कंफ्यूजिंग यू विथ परचेसेस अज्यूम दैट दिस इज अ सेल ऑफ सर्विस कंसल्टेंसी फीस अब और भी सिंपल हो जाएगी लाइफ ओके अज्यूम आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट माई सेल्फ आई गिव अ स्टॉक टिप टू हिम of 100 rupees itna sasta nahi hota hai okay but i give a stock tip tip to him of 100 rupees and he says i want two tips so i i, I bill him for 200 rupees is there any cost involved for me right now nothing okay so let us check this my profit and loss account how much is sale of service total amount of sale of services 300 how much is cost zero how much is my surplus 300 This three hundred is my reserves and surplus. How much is my cash balance? Only hundred, because he has paid me only hundred rupees. This money is still receivable. Are you getting me? Yes. So now understand. People feel that profit is always good, but profit without cash is very dangerous. very dangerous why i'll just change the example a little bit ye wala samajh mein aaya na how much is surplus last time how much is surplus 300, 300. surplus is 300 and how much is my cash position 100 hmm aane wala hai aane wala hai, aane wala hai.
वाला ना टू हंड्रेड आने वाला है बट कल जाके मैंने उसको कॉल किया सर टू हंड्रेड रुपीज पिक अप द फोन सर टू हंड्रेड रुपीज हेलो हेलो दैट ओके अगेन आई कॉल हिम टू थ्री डेज आफ्टर सर टू हंड्रेड रुपीज बार बार फोन मत करो ऐसे कुछ कोई ऐसे नाम का कोई इंसान इधर रहता ही नहीं है कट टू हंड्रेड रुपीज गॉन ओके सर नाउ वॉट हैपन्ड वॉज लेटेस्ट अंडरस्टैंड आज दिस है एवरीथिंग आफ्टर वन ईयर नाउ अंडरस्टैंड माई सिनारियो सरप्लस वॉज थ्री हंड्रेड आई ऑल्सो टेल यू द वर्स्ट केस सिनारियो इन दिस केस सरप्लस वॉज थ्री हंड्रेड अब कौन मेरे हाथ धो के पीछे पड़ा है गवर्नमेंट टैक्सेस भरो टैक्सेस ऑन थ्री हंड्रेड जनरली कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स इन इंडिया इज टेन इज थर्टी परसेंट कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स इन इंडिया इज थर्टी परसेंट सो कितना टैक्स पे करना पड़ेगा नाइनटी सो वॉट इज माई इफेक्टिव सरप्लस फाइनल सरप्लस इज टू टेन मिला तो था जेब में था सिर्फ हंड्रेड उसमें से भी गया नाइनटी अब बचा क्या दस रुपया तो मैं खाऊंगी क्या क्या करूंगी ओके नाउ अंडरस्टैंड द वर्स्ट केस सिनारियो I'll change this a little bit. Instead of hundred and two hundred, fifty and two hundred and fifty, everything else remains same. Three hundred is sale, two hundred is sale, cost is zero, surplus is three hundred. Government is saying, "Wow, three hundred rupees surplus, pay tax, ninety." मतलब पैसा नहीं मेरे पास. मतलब ऐसे कैसे पैसा नहीं? Three hundred का sale तो किया तुमने? पैसा नहीं है. Fifty rupees cash is available with me. Government says that is your problem. You have one profit, you have to pay. Okay, now I get an idea. Oh, I'll do one thing. I have received only fifty, na? So I will book sale only fifty rupees. Idea, because I have received only fifty rupees. I'll book sale only fifty rupees. Cost is zero. Surplus is fifty. Fifty ka thirty percent is fifteen. and now i have the capacity to pay but this is not allowed companies act says that you are not allowed to book sale on cash basis this is cash basis of accounting cash basis of accounting matlab kya jitna paisa mila utna hi record karo this is cash basis of accounting this is not allowed as per the act act says how much have you sold whether on cash or credit we don't care about that You have sold, yes. End of the story. You have to book it. So now you will understand. Good. So profit is amazing, but profit without liquidity, liquidity I mean cash is very dangerous. That is why analyzing the cash flow is very important in fundamental analysis. As of now, till date, if I told you. A is a profit making company. B is also profit making company. B's profit is two hundred percent higher than A. Which company will choose? A is profit making. B is also profit making. But B's profitability is two hundred percent higher than A. Which one you will choose? B. But now you should not say that answer immediately. What you should say? What is the liquidity position? How much is their cash flow? If they don't have the requisite amount of cash, they are going to land up in problem today or tomorrow. Getting my point? Yes. It's the magic of number crunching. Okay. So I guess we'll just write down this last one sentence and we'll stop for the day. Reserves and surplus. What is the simple meaning of reserves and surplus? No, again cash is the word or profit is the word profit is the word because as i said it's not necessary that it has to be a cash profit it could be realized it yet to be realized money is yet to be received wo bhi ho sakta hai so write down uh, profits generated from the business profits generated from the business which are retained with the company which are retained with the company is reserves and surplus profit bhi hua and retained with the company bhi hua that is your reserves and surplus
ओके नेक्स्ट हेडिंग सिर्फ लिख के रखो सो दैट टुमोरो आई रिमेंबर वेयर आई हैव टू स्टार्ट ओके फैंटास्टिक रेशियो विथ व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट टुमोरो व्हिच नो वन चेक्स यू विल नॉट फाइंड दिस रेशियो इन एनी बुक बट आई ऑलवेज चेक इट ओके सो जस्ट राइट दिस डाउन रेशियो ऑफ शेयर कैपिटल इज टू रिजर्व्स इन सरप्लस अंडरस्टैंडिंग बैलेंस शीट ओनली चल रहा है रेशियो ऑफ रेशियो ऑफ शेयर कैपिटल इज टू कोलन लिखते ना अपन इज टू रिजर्व एंड सरप्लस ओके आई एल एक्सप्लेन दिस टू मोर ओवन यूर फ्रेश यस हूज मनी इज दिस पीपल लाइक यू एंड मी म्यूचुअल फंड सो आई रिपीट इज क्वेश्चन फॉर एवरी वन ही सेंग दैट इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल इज टू एट्टी बदल हूज मनी इज दिस हु हैज ब्रॉट इन टू हंड्रेड एंड एटी करोड़ रुपीज पीपल लाइक यू एंड मी है ब्रॉट इन टू हंड्रेड एंड एटी करोड़ रुपीज और इफ यू रिमेम म्यूचुअल फंड सम ट्वेंटी पर्सेंट वॉज ऑफ म्यूचुअल फंड नाइनटीन पर्सेंट वॉज ऑफ इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज Promoters plus shareholders. Oh, in the definition, I have dictated only promoters. What? Ah, so it could be promoters slash. You can just change that definition which I dictated for share capital. It could be promoters slash other shareholders. Shareholders funds. What was the the definition that I dictated or the meaning that I dictated? Promoters money or core funds. So it could be promoters or shareholders. Okay. Yes. Any other doubt? So, if the if the capital is increasing, is it necessary that the promoter's percentage holding should decrease or not? So, again for that, I told you when share capital add हो जाता है, like this scenario, share capital is continuously increasing, it means that some fresh shares are issued. What was the question finally? प्रमोटर का परसेंटेज तो कम हो ही जाएगा अग्रीड कैसे कम हो जाएगा लेट लेटेस्ट अंडरस्टैंड अज्यूम दैट दिस इज टोटल हंड्रेड शेयर्स एंड अज्यूम दैट लेट अस से फोर्टी परसेंट इज विथ अदर्स सो लेट फोर्टी परसेंट नहीं लेते विल से ओनली फोर्टी शेयर्स फोर्टी शेयर्स आर विथ अदर्स एंड सिक्सटी शेयर्स आर विथ प्रमोटर्स ओके अज्यूम दैट ट्वेंटी न्यू शेयर्स आर इशूड नाउ इट्स अ रेशियो ना कि प्रमोटर का कैसे होगा देखो एंड ऑल दिस ट्वेंटी शेयर आर नाउ बाय अदर्स इन्वेस्टेड बाय अदर्स नॉट द प्रमोटर सो ओरिजिनल होल्डिंग ऑफ द प्रमोटर वॉज हाउ मच परसेंटेज सिक्सटी परसेंटेज वॉट इज अ न्यू ये अदर्स के पास चला गया अभी ये जो नया ट्वेंटी था ना एंटायर न्यू ट्वेंटी वॉज टेकन अप बाय अदर्स वॉट इज अ न्यू शेयर होल्डिंग ऑफ प्रमोटर्स नाउ फिफ्टी परसेंट बिकॉज नाउ इट इज सिक्सटी प्लस 60, 60, 60 split up हो गया. So the new holding will be 50 percent. So whenever fresh share capital is issued, and if it is not bought by the promoter only, so if it is not invest, that money is not invested by the core promoter, their stake will be reduced. Their percentage holding will be reduced. If someone else is buying those shares, agreed. Value more or less, yes, yes, yes. Value more or less will remain same. Again, how it is perceived by the market could be different. Market value change होने के लिए अलग हो भी सकता है. Any other doubt? No. You just want to write it down. Okay. Right. So those who are watching online, maybe you can also pause and write it down. <clears throat> and then i'll stop for today okay i'll see you tomorrow bye bye